my guest today is unfortunately living a nightmare. Now put yourself in her shoes for a moment. Think of somebody you trust and you love absolutely without question. And then imagine finding out that that person is a liar and a killer. That's exactly what happened to Thelma, Laura Hacking's mother. Take a look. On the night of July 18th, Lori was packed and ready to follow her husband, Mark, to North Carolina so he could pursue his dream of medical school. At 10.07 a.m. the next morning, Mark called police to report his wife missing. Then in a bizarre turn, Mark was found wandering naked at night in a parking lot. He was taken to a psychiatric ward and hospitalized. As Mark's life began to unravel, so did his web of lies. But Lori's family stood by him. Police discovered that not only was Mark not enrolled in medical school, but he had never even applied. Family and friends were stunned by this news of Mark's twisted deception. So on August 2nd, 2004, Mark Hacking was arrested and charged with Lori's murder after confessing to his brothers that he did indeed kill her. Lori's body still has not been found. Thelma Sorares, Laura Hacking's mother, is here, and she has not talked publicly since her son-in-law confessed to killing her only daughter. And it has only been eight weeks since Thelma's daughter, Lori, was first reported missing. Eight weeks. So I, I appreciate you being here. Thank you. How are you doing? Well, I try to live one day at a time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been busy doing things that had to be done. Um, we had to have a memorial for her. Um, mm -hmm. We had to go through all of their things that were already packed in their apartment, ready to go. Mm -hmm. I have gone through her clothing and her personal effects, and... Um, That's very hard. That was the hardest thing. Yeah, and, I think uh, it's hard. Every family member who's ever lost anybody her, says that. Yeah, yeah. Her, her friends, her high school friends, and her college roommates, and uh, Elizabeth Reed, her running buddy. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you saw them. your daughter alive? When was the last time you On saw her? On the 4th of July. On the 4th of July. And, okay, so let's talk about this, this charade. This charade. You believed that, and we heard you say in the early news reports, you were saying, we love Mark, I love Mark like my own son. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely true. I, I have known him for about 10 years, mm -hmm. and... Uh, he came to me when, before they were married and said, I don't know how many young men do this anymore, but he said, Thelma, I'm here to ask you if I can marry Lori. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I gave him my permission and he has been wonderful. He comes to my house, he came to my house. Mm -hmm. He uh, installed the sprinkler system in my backyard. Mm -hmm. He fixed this cooler for my house, fixes my car. And how, is we, how was he with her? He always treated her like she was something precious to him. Mm -hmm. um, he did special little things for her always. Mm -hmm. And when they were in your presence, you know, you can often tell how couples are doing, whether oh, or not yeah. they touch each other or how they speak to one another or what is their tone with each other. Everybody that knew the two of them would say that, that they adored each other. Uh -huh. They were in love. Mm -hmm. There was no question in our minds, mm -hmm. or in my mind especially. Mm -hmm. Had she ever said to you or indicated to you that there was any kind of problem? There was nothing. They were so excited. About moving? Yes. Yes. What did Mark say to you the day that Lori showed up missing? What did he say to well, you? Well, I was at work, and yeah. he called me on the phone. Is that how you first heard she was That's missing? That's the first day. It was about 10.40 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he called and said, Thelma, and I could tell by the tone of his voice. And I said, Mark, what's wrong? And he said, Thelma, Lori went jogging, and she never came back. Mm -hmm. And I said, have you called the police? Mm -hmm. You know, I just was panicked. And he was saying she went jogging that morning? Yeah, I said, she went jogging this morning and never came back. Mm -hmm. So I asked him if he called the police. He said he had. 
but that they wouldn't do anything for 24 hours because she is an adult. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him where he was, and he said he was just walking around, and I said, I'll be right there. So I jumped on the freeway, and he said, call me on your cell phone when you get there, and I'll let you know where I am. So I did, and he said, we're on our way to the apartment. Mm -hmm. And because the police now want pictures and clothing for the dogs. Mm -hmm. I went in, you know, embraced him. He sobbed to me. I patted him. I said, don't worry, Mark. We'll find her. We'll find her. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you know, as we watched you and I think other families who've been through similar situations, lost loved ones, loved ones showed up missing, you know, their heart bleeds for you when this happens. And those of us who've never I experienced know. it, our hearts just bleed for you. And we're all, you know, my girlfriend Gail's going, God, did you hear about this story? And I hope they find her. Now, everybody else in the country immediately suspects Mark. But you did not. I, I did not. You know, the police took all of us down there that first day and interviewed all of us. Uh, Mm -hmm. at me and, and all the hacking family that were there, and of course, Mark, too. Mm -hmm. And I think I made, I think I said the word ludicrous. It's yes. ludicrous if yes. you think yes. Mark has anything to do with this. Yes. That was probably the biggest shock I have ever received in my life. We had lived that lie with him for so long. My whole family, my extended family, um, when the policeman came in and told us, that wasn't until Wednesday, though, see? Mm -hmm. and this was Monday. Mm -hmm. So Monday and Tuesday, we still thought Lori might be with a couple of broken legs down in the gulch somewhere mm -hmm. up in the in Memory mm -hmm. Grove. Okay, and come Wednesday, what did the police tell you? They came in just before a press conference and told us that he had never been enrolled in medical school. He wasn't enrolled in North Carolina. He'd never enrolled in any school. And as a matter of fact, hadn't even graduated from the University of Utah. And did you see him after that? Did you see Mark? I did the following afternoon. You saw him that afternoon. What did you say to him the day after you found out he was lying? Well, uh... Tell me what happens. What, you walk into a room and he is there? Yeah, he... By, by then, he was in uh, lockdown at the University of Utah uh, Hospital. And uh, when I walked in the room, he was standing up at the side of his bed. Okay. So he's in the hospital. This is because he's been wandering in the parking lot naked? The, the, yeah. The, his brother took him there immediately. Mm -hmm. He was taken to the hospital immediately. Had you heard about him wandering around in the parking lot naked? Yes. Now, and that didn't cause you to be suspicious? Well, what everybody thought, of course, was that he, you know, he had taken some things. We thought that he felt so distressed about Lori that he, you know, had actually tried to commit suicide himself. Mm -hmm. But this is just the second day. That's why we were all suspicious in the country. It's the second day. So I'm thinking, OK, you would still be hopeful, holding out some hope and not oh, yeah. walking around the parking lot naked. Yeah. Didn't y'all think that? <laughs> That's what we all were thinking. But, you know, you're caught up in it. And well, you know what? You know what the deal was? And see, he had told Scott. He and Scott were going bicycling at 11 o'clock. And he had told Scott that Lori had said, don't you want to go running with me today? And he said, no, because Scott's coming over and we're going to go bicycling. So, he, see, he fixed it up so that we thought he felt so guilty that he hadn't gone running with her. Okay. That he felt so guilty that, that he couldn't endure that. Okay. You said he was standing up. Yeah, you walked was, in the room. Yeah, he's totally lucid, standing up. and uh, We're in the hospital. Yeah, standing away from his bed. And you and, walked in. Uh, yeah, he had this blanket kind of around his shoulders. And I just walked around up to him and put my arms around him like that. And I said, oh, Mark, didn't you know that my love for you wasn't dependent on your becoming a doctor? Didn't you know that I loved you because of the way you treated Lori and because you were so good to me? And he, <laughs> you know, he kind of sobbed a little bit. And then he took me out, leaned forward. He did this. Thelma, I promise, I promise. And he, I had nothing to do with this. That's what he did. And you know, Deb, I, I desperately wanted to believe him. 
worked way down inside. I said, you're lying again. Did you say that to him? I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. So when he looked I you, walked out. you walked out of the room and said nothing to him. He looked you in the eye. Shook my shoulders, promised me twice. I promised, I promise I had nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. And then you walked out of the room. Yes. I hear they're still searching the landfill for Lori's body, are they? They are. They have been wonderful. Uh, they have been searching since that day. They've been searching, actually, with cadaver dogs. They had to go through about 5,000 tons, not 5,000 pounds, 5,000 tons of <sighs> compacted garbage. Wow. And this has been very, very difficult because they have to pull it apart. It's been compact. You know, they have to pull it apart and lay it out, and then the dogs would go through it. Mm. So her body would have decomposed by now, yeah. And I understand you have a headstone and you have a plot. We you have, had a ceremony. Yes, we did have. You had a memorial service. We did. And it's still difficult not having a body. Yeah. Mm. That's the most difficult part, mm -hmm. Oprah. Um, because uh, this is why we, we got a headstone so that, you know, so that we and her friends would have somewhere to go mm -hmm. to remember her. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that the chances of recovering her body are, are very slim. However, this Detective Parks told me just the other day that uh, it's Captain... Um, Roger Winkler, I believe, he said, Thelma, not often do captains go, go do this stuff. He said, he goes right down into the pit with us. And we're going to go through everything again by hand. Mm -hmm. Visually, we're going to go through everything again. Did Mark 100%. tell them exactly where he had thrown her body? He said it was in a dumpster up by, up on the university campus, up close to where he worked. Mm -hmm. He confessed to his brothers... What did he say? Well, I was told that he said uh, that he shot Lori while she was asleep and uh, dumped her in the dumpster. I understand you wrote Mark a letter, did you? I did. Mm -hmm. And what did you say? Do you have the letter? What did you say to him in the letter? I told him I didn't, of all the letters I'd written him in his life, I, in my wildest imagination, never thought I'd ever be writing him this one, but he had a right to know how I felt. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told him that, you know, I couldn't imagine why he started this intricate web of lying. Uh, we were all caught up in it. We were genuinely caught up in it. We lived it with him. We lived that lie. Um, and you know, I said, even then, if you had told us, you know, explained something, we would have stood by you. We would have tried to help you, you know. But instead, you chose to murder Lori and your own child. Mm. Why? She was how pregnant? How many weeks pregnant, do you know? He told me she was about five weeks pregnant. He mm. told me that the first day up at Memory Grove, just kind of by the side, he said, oh, Thelma, that's right. Lori was pregnant, and I go, <gasps> hmm. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.